Hi guys. Okay, the day has finally come. We're down to the last project of use it till it's gone for the tiny scrap paper tray. Now, you may notice this is a little more full than it was shown on the previous video. And that's because I did a little bit of a desk cleanup and I have added a little bit to it. I think I think I had about this much left before and I've added a couple of handfuls so and since I've added those I've probably got some more <laughs> that I can add. I've got some bits of tissue paper or napkin or something laying around that I can add in. Now these are all the teeny tiny pieces that are left. And I've had a few ideas brewing over the weeks with what to do with the confetti left at the bottom of the tray. And my initial idea was just to dump it in the blender and make some handmade paper. But I thought that might be a little bit of a, a cop out little bit of the, taking the easy way out <laughs> so I'm going to make some flowers out of these <laughs> now I haven't made any yet so it may not even work but I have a little idea where I will just take a little bunch of these like a little pizza and sew them and make some cute little flowers. See, look, wouldn't that look super cute? Now I'm going to need some bases because all these little bits everywhere. Okay. Oh, actually, that's right. You would have seen this in the last video, my little CD tray of book spine bits. I think I tossed a bunch of those in there as well, the little, little pieces to get rid of them. Okay, so I need some bases. Oh gosh. Okay, I probably should have prepared. Maybe these. Got these strips of packaging paper. It's really thick. And okay, let's see. <laughs> This is very experimental. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking that I'll just <laughs> take like a little handful, like I said, make a little pizza. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why. I, I've given myself the giggles. I started this video twice already because <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Okay, <laughs> let's see. And I'm going to just sew this on top somehow <laughs> somehow okay what I might do I might do a zigzag straight across just to tack it down and then I'll just straight stitch <laughs> around and around actually maybe I should put some lace underneath that might look a bit cuter let me let me grab Oh gosh, where is it? Okay. Oh, I'm about to have an avalanche. Okay. I knew I had this laying around somewhere. This was a little bit of that curtain lace, that old, <laughs> really old curtain lace that you would have seen in a previous video. Um, we used them on one of the clusters, I think, with the autumn leaves. Okay. Maybe if I put a little bit of that underneath. To peep out. Okay, let's see. Alright, this may not work and I may be coming up with another idea <laughs> shortly. But let's see. Okay. I just want all these little random pieces on there. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. Oh gosh, do you want to see me sew this? It's a bit difficult, isn't it? All right. Okay, does that look like a cute flower? I think so. Except this piece is bugging me. Hold on, this is too big. <laughs> too big! Who, who's ever going to say that piece is too big? Okay. Now let's take this. Okay. What I don't want is to make it look manufactured, which is what I'm doing. I just want it to look very random, like dumped on. Okay. I'm going to take you to my sewing machine and let's give this a try to sew it. Um, now I've got pink thread still in my machine from sewing ruffles last, last couple of weeks. Um, it's a very pale pink. I might just leave that in the machine. Okay, let me move you over. Alrighty, you're at the sewing machine. I hope you can see okay. If you've ever filmed at the sewing machine, you will understand how difficult this is. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pop it. It's on a large zigzag at the moment. Trying to bring my little pizza over without dropping all these little bits. Now I'm going to just, I think, sew straight across the middle for now. Just to hold all these little pieces down. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's baby bits flying everywhere. Did a back stitch. Whoops! Look at these little pieces. They won't stay on. Okay, then I think I'm going to just switch over to a straight stitch. And just sew around and around. What do you think? There's a few loose pieces over there. Let's turn him around and go over that side. Okay. Let's have a look at one. I do think that's a bit cute and maybe I can put a button or something oops oh no little pieces are falling off okay I may have to sew it a little bit better than that let's just give it one more little Do you think that's a little bit cute? What do you think? Okay, let me make another little pizza. Okay, so the little test one looks kind of cute. And I think that's what I'm going to do with these scraps. Little clustery flower thingies <laughs> now yeah what I might have to do is zigzag 
yeah I might just have to zigzag both ways first and then maybe go around just to make sure those little bits are tacked down all in the one sew so I don't have to go back in and restitch bits but I think that's kind of cute I can maybe put a button or a little gem or something in the center okay let's make some more now I've put you back overhead because I think I should just prepare a few little pizzas first and then I'll sew them all at once in, on the sewing machine. Okay, let's get some. Some pieces. I kind of want them wonky. I don't want them, you know, straight looking, square looking. Okay. Wonder how many. I don't think I'd need to make many to use this up would I oh maybe I shouldn't have added to it because now I'm looking at it it seems like there's quite a lot there okay I'll just do a few more on camera because I think you get the idea and then I'll go off and sew a whole bunch This old curtain I just picked up this giant roll I think I I think I may have shown it on my on a previous video this giant roll from um, was it Salvation Army or st. Vincent's de Paul one of those two op shops like really cheap and I, I just love this old frail curtain that's too big Maybe I can use these little bits. On the one. Now, <laughs> this is like a cooking show. Now, grab a handful of paper. And add it to your pie base. My big man hands can't handle these teeny tiny little papers. I need some delicate little feminine hands delicate I am not <laughs> okay look doesn't that look cute I think that looks so cute but I feel like I need to sew it straight away because I have trouble picking them up okay there's one Need a little baking tray to cart them over to my sewing machine. Let's see. I wish there was some colour. See, I like that little green piece in there. Oh gosh, what is that? Oh, that's a little piece of brown fabric. 
How did that get in there? That must be when I scooped everything off my desk. Get on there. I want it to be very random. I don't want to place papers. Okay. There's another may not look like that by the time I get to my sewing machine. All the little bits fall off. Hmm, yeah. Just wondering how I can better do this. <laughs> but I think I'll just make a couple and I'll show you me sewing a couple more. And then, yeah, I'll just go off and make a bunch because... I'm sure you get the idea. Oh, there's a bit of music paper. Oh no, that looks too placed to get off. Okay. No, now that looks placed. Stop it. Okay, there's another. I really love scrappy looking little flowery things. If you've been with my channel for a while, you would see that I've made quite a few little scrappy flower type of things over the years. Okay, I just want to rip these bigger pieces up a bit more because they're hard to place on my little pizza base. All right. Next. Oh, this is what I should do with my itty bitty little fabric scraps. Actually, I did make some like boho scrap fabric trims kind of with this method before but they were little square no I made long shivers I can't remember it's so long ago actually I think I made some square ones like rec no rectangle and um some long snippet rolls from memory I'll go back and check and put the links in the comments box below if you didn't see them. But basically, I've got this little tub over there, quite similar to this, but for fabric. And they're like teeny tiny little pieces of fabric. I used to forever be trying to use them up and then I tossed it aside and I haven't actually used any out of there for quite a while. But um, yeah, I did make something quite similar to this now that I think of it with little little fabric scraps is there enough lace peeping out you think I feel like it needs more lace no don't worry just sew it okay all right I'm going to now move you back to the sewing machine <laughs> and let's sew these babies all righty, we're back at the machine. Yeah, I think if you do this yourself, assemble them at the machine. It's easier than picking them up and moving them. Okay, I'm just going to zigzag straight across the top. Moving to a straight stitch. I'm just going to go around it like a little circle, like a spiral. Let me get rid of this thread. Ooh, you could put all threads and all manner of stuff on top.
hope you can see okay. Get under there. be better if they're not too sewn if they're a bit loosey okay let's try another that's that little guy pretty cute okay next guy <laughs> okay <laughs> You're probably thinking I've got mental issues. I think I do. No offence to those with legit mental issues. But I think I'm one of you. Okay. Okay, there's my zigzag. And I'm just going to... Switch to a straight stitch. I just think it's easier to do a circle with a straight stitch. Get on there. Oops. Okay, I can't tell you how much I love these little guys. I think they're so cute. Okay, next little guy. Oh, this one's very full. Get back on there. Oop. Switching to zigzag. Get on there. These little pieces trying to escape. Don't you want to be something? Let's switch to straight stitch. cute is that one? Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, back to zigzag. Oop! Get back on there. Over to straight stitch and around we go. Get on there. gosh look how cute this is oops piece came out look how cute that is oh i love it 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sew a whole bunch and then I'll come back and we'll pop something on top, a button or something. Okay, I've made <laughs> a whole bunch of them, but I thought I would just make the last one with you <laughs> so that you can see me actually empty the tray since some of you have been here for this whole challenge and sat through many videos of me gluing and sewing little scraps I thought it was only fair to let you see <laughs> the very last bit of the tray getting emptied and look I don't know if you can see the last of the scraps but they are ridiculously teeny teeny tiny oh is this too much for one maybe oh no look there's so little on we go bye bye I've got to try not to make them too fat in the center. And look, <laughs> the tray is empty. There we go. That's it. All the cookie crumbs gone, gone. Oops. Look at that. Done. Okay, let's sew this last baby. Okay, this one <laughs> has really teeny tiny scraps on it. And it's a bit fat. Okay. Let's sew this baby. it over to straight stitch oops bits are coming off get back on there after I did a few um, they actually became much easier to sew <laughs> except this last one oh my gosh these are itty bitty look at that little bits falling off this little bit of music paper doesn't want to stay. to give an extra sew because all these little pieces look they're still falling off that little music paper does not want to stay down all right get on there got him last of the little scraps okay <laughs> it's empty we did it oh look at all this dusty bits that came out of the bottom that can go in the bin 
Okay, let's have a look what we've got. I just need to chop a few threads off. Look, I just love them. This was the one that was using the very last of the scraps. Look, they're so cute. They're like little cookies. That one's a bit little. Oh, this one went a bit wonky. Let's just give him a trim. Oops. Okay, so those <laughs> last few scraps, they made quite a few. I tried to keep them roundish looking so that I could put something in the center so they look like flowers, but some turned out a little bit squarish, like this one, this one, this one. It's a little baby. <laughs> Had a little baby scrap of uh, brown paper left. This one's a bit of a weird shape. We'll stick him over in the reject section. He's still cute. This one's really pretty. Okay, now what to put in the center? I don't know. I was thinking a button, or I do have some little bling bling things I'd like to get rid of that I have had for the longest time. Oh no, a little piece fell out. Okay, these two were a bit squarish as well. They're the odd shaped ones. Oh, look how many! He's a bit square. I just love them. I can't tell you how much I, I just love these little guys. Little cookies. All right. Now, let me just get my little tub of blingy stuff. All right. I've got this basket of... um little blingy and all these sort of little dots and I don't even know what they're called embellishment crystal I was thinking maybe I could put some of these on let's have a look what's in here okay I've just laid them all out but now I'm going to pile them up again See, I've got things like this now. Most of this, well, all of it, has either been given to me um, by, like, friends or family members or sent to me in Happy Mails. So I wouldn't usually buy anything like this. Um, I don't buy real craft supplies. I just like to recycle. Oh, what about these square things? Maybe. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even know what these are used for, half of these things. These, like, these are pretty. I mean, these could be for, like, an ocean-themed journal. Oh, there's two packs of these things. Okay. They might be too big. Let's see. This 
one has two circles in the back as well. They're kind of cute. What do you think? Can my little scrappy flowers handle a pretty bling bling? I think so. Okay, I'm going to put those two on there. Are these meant to be sticky? No. Hmm. I don't know if this glue will glue them. I don't know. Where's my other? Okay, I'm going to just use a bit of this glue. Um, if they pop off, I'll just put some uh, gel medium on. I feel like this probably won't be the best glue for it. We'll give it a try. Okay, that is a wee bit cute. I'll put some close-up pictures at the end of the video as well because <laughs> I think you need to see a close-up to appreciate them. You can see the teeniest, tiniest little slithers of paper in there. Okay, these things. I can't even see the opening. Okay, Jim, what are they called? Square gem stickers. Oh, they are stickers. I don't trust the sticky, though. These are really old now. I can't remember who sent them to me. Oh, actually, they are quite sticky, but I'm still going to glue them. Let's see. Wait, not that one. Where's a nice roundy one? This guy. Wish I had more of these. I'm going to try and use these because the rest I feel are too colourful. Oh, this guy I forgot to put lace on. Well, duh. Okay. Let's put one and see how it looks. Just do it. If I can use these little gem things up, I will be very happy. I don't know if I'm sold on these. Actually, some are discolored. Let's use one that's less shiny. Okay, I don't actually mind the square little blingy now. I do wish I had more of these round yellowish ones. <laughs> I 
I just love them. I can't tell you how much I, I love these little sewn scraps. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue some more of these on. So I've managed to use up both of those packets, which is good. I don't know if the glare off the little gemstone is uh, too bright for you on camera, but I'll put some pictures at the end. Now, I had two left over, which were more square. They weren't round like flowers, so I'm thinking I'm going to put... A little bird out of this bird book I've been cutting them up yeah I think the little bird ones are quite cute okay and there's these two that don't have any lace on the back I forgot to put lace on before I sewed them so I think I'm just going to add some Okay, we're done. The tray is empty. Yeehaw. Got lots of little flower embellishments. These little square gems wouldn't have been my ideal pick. But use what you have. We don't need to go buying new stuff. And I do think they kind of look cute, even with the square gem. In fact, I really love the sewn little scraps with the lace underneath. I think it would make a great journal cover even if you did a bigger piece. Oh my gosh, imagine sewing all those teeny tiny little scraps into one big piece. Maybe you could do little pieces, join them together. Anyway, I'm going to put some photos at the end for you so you can see them up close because I, I don't think they're showing up well on camera. And um, for everyone that's followed this Use It Till It's Gone challenge or series, whatever you want to call it, uh, thank you very much. I've loved your comments and um, I know some of you really enjoyed it. Apologies for the videos being so spread out, but, you know, I don't get a lot of time to film. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that um, encourages you to just grab a pile of stuff from your craft room and use it till it's gone. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.